uh, their scientific and research center named by Professor Petrov. Dear colleagues, for me, it's a great honor to speak on this uh, in this event. Now the uh, modalities of the treatment of the regional cervical cancer. There may be chemo plus radiation, neoadjuvant chemotherapy before surgical treatment. Uh, the surgical treatment alone, in since 1999, the standard of the treatment of regional uh, cervical cancer. It's a standard combination of the radiotherapy plus uh, chemotherapy. Why are we have been looking for new approaches? Because patients, they continue to die, and we shall to change the tactics. Our goals are to have a good resectability of the tumor, the absence of metastasis, improvement of quality of life, and neoadjuvant chemotherapy is the golden standard. Neoadjuvant chemotherapy has been studied since 1980s. The largest clinical trial in 2010 of 2010 demonstrated uh, their overall survival and disease-free survival in patients who received neoadjuvant chemotherapy before operation and less risk of uh, relapses and involvement of the parametrium and the less incidence rate of positive lymph nodes. Our guidelines, associations of Russian oncologists, Ruska associations, and uh, uh, world guidelines, uh, they suggest that it's possible to use neoadjuvant therapy as the first stage of treatment. What else I'd like to say? Not always uh, we uh, have clear guidelines, uh, the regimen of chemo therapy, because uh, this method is still under uh, investigation. The most important trial, it's a trial uh, by Cochrane Laboratory 20 of 2015 uh, that showed more than 20% improvement of overall survival. Uh, with uh, more than 25 milligram per uh, cube uh, per uh, square meters is a platinum for 14 days. Your TC, I am not going to talk about in details. Uh, they have already been mentioned. I'd like to stress as to E or TC clinical trial for patients 1B2, uh, there was a tendency uh, of improvement, so increasing survival rate in 2B uh, has uh, their benefits uh, if uh, patients older than 50 years of age and they were exposed to chemo plus radiation. Uh, this, uh, this similar Gupta trial, uh, these clinical trials can be compared to uh, the similar enrollment criteria, but one a multi-center study, another single-center study, different regimen of chemotherapy are considered. Uh, what I'd like to speak in details, uh, the trial that we conducted in our center, we started to study neoadjuvant therapy since 2016. We analyzed 136 uh, patients. They received three cycles of neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Uh, we are in, with intervals less than 14 days, two medications. We use doxyrubicin paclitaxel with cisplatin regimens. Patients were selected after three cycles of chemotherapy in a 10-year uh, window to assess clinical effectiveness. We perform MRI of uh, minor pelvic. Uh, we use classification resist. Uh, then patients were stratified according to the response uh, if uh, there are stabilization of the process and uh, the parametrial invasion, uh, the patients were sent to uh, radiation therapy. If uh, there, uh, there were no parametrial invasion, radical uh, hysterectomy was performed. 
clinical effectiveness of nail adjuvant chemotherapy uh, was assessed. Uh, clinically, uh, the better response uh, in uh, uh, doxyrubicin plus platinum. The surgical treatment were performed in both groups, no statistical significance, uh, with uh, doxyrubicin 86%, paclitaxel group 79%, 6% in both groups. So we conducted a pelvic lymph dissection in 8% of AP and TP patients sir, were not operated upon. They were sent for radical chemo and uh, radiation therapy. Pathomorphological regress sir, was uh, registered 77% and 51% uh, in on another group. It's a difference in case of pathomorphological regress and regresses of the tumor in the doxyrubicin group. Toxicity was assessed in both group. It was uh, acceptable. We use uh, NCI CTCAE neutropenia of uh, toxicity uh, of third degree, uh, one in uh, th th uh, 3% of cases, no hematological toxicity or febrile neutropenia. We assess survival, the median of follow up 47 months. Groups, uh, they were not uh, different as overall survival and disease free survival. 90% it's uh, overall survival, uh, disease free survival, 85%. Uh, we tried to find some prognostic risk factors. Uh, there were no statistically significant differences. Uh, we noticed the difference in the use of neoadjuvant therapy plus surgery and in patients who were sent for chemo and radiation therapy. If we looked at uh, disease free survival, uh, clinical response uh, with a full response, uh, they tend to live longer. To compare the remote results, uh, we selected two additional groups who were not, who didn't receive near edgeable treatment. 25 patients with 1B2 stage cervical cancer since November 2009 up to August 2019, and 44 patients with the second B stage of cervical cancer who received chemo plus radiation according to the standardized program since 2013 up to 2018. Disease free survival for the first B stage with combination of neoadjuvant chemotherapy for patients uh, who had only surgical treatment, uh, they are presented on the slide. As to the uh, relapse rates, uh, no difference, but uh, there is a tendency in the low uh, relapse rate in patients who receive neoadjuvant chemotherapy, 10%, and patients. Uh, Without neoadjuvant chemotherapy, 28% of relapses. Disease free survival for the second B stage presented on the slide. In this group of patients, uh, there is a tendency in uh, difference in groups. Neoadjuvant chemotherapy plus surgery, there is a difference. Maybe uh, there are no uh, many patients uh, uh, that uh, we have in the groups. So we are continuing following up these patients. Uh, globally, near adjuvant chemotherapy and without near adjuvant chemotherapy with the following treatment, either surgery or chemo plus radiation, this category of patients uh, didn't show any significant differences. We see only uh, the 
Uh, without new adjuvant chemotherapy, the relapses uh, they tend to be twofold more frequent. To sum up our results, chemotherapy is effective with the following radiation therapy depends on the regimen and uh, the dosage of platinum. Near adjuvant chemotherapy plus operation is better for 2B patients and for young patients, uh, and the quality of life is improving. But uh, to have a full assessment, we need a meta-analysis. We can say that chemotherapy is necessary for treatment of regional cervical cancer. Uh, who won't benefit uh, from neoadjuvant chemotherapy? Uh, shall we exclude uh, chemotherapy, a uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy uh, plus operation uh, with all the primary patients with uh, uh, positive lymph nodes? Probably not. Shall we uh, refuse the operation to patients with N plus after near adjuvant chemotherapy? Yes, it's possible. It's surgical staging. Can we improve the prognosis, uh, the expansion of the radiation field? How can we improve our strategy while treatment patients with the regional cervical cancer using neo? adjuvant chemotherapy. Uh, we can assess uh, the clinical response. If there is no clinical response, so uh, we uh, refer patient to a standardized chemo plus radiation. But if it's a possible, it's a positive response, laparoscopy, surgical treatment, and uh, then a negative lymph nodes operation. Uh, we will, in this case, if lymph nodes are positive, patient will receive neoadjuvant chemotherapy plus radiation chemotherapy, radiation chemotherapy with the expansion of the field. If the lymph nodes are negative, uh, the optimal treatment, neoadjuvant chemotherapy plus operation. Thank you for your attention.